really excited to work with your students. It's going to be our best year ever. I've told them that because they've chosen just such wonderful topics. And I'm pleased to say that all 40 have chosen their senior project topics. And I know they're working on meeting that first deadline. Do you know when that first deadline may be? Next Tuesday. That is right, a week from tomorrow. And that is when we must have those first seven initial forms from our portfolio completed. And we'll look at those tonight. Uh, I want this to be interactive. I want you to ask questions. I want to make certain you understand any aspect of the senior project that you do not understand. It's not difficult. It's based upon meeting deadlines, and it's, it really helps the student to grow. We know that it is beneficial. And when the students complete their senior projects, they, they realize that they have grown. They have completed that learning stretch that we are so eager for them to realize and they've benefited a group of people in, in the path of it. So I want to share with you a few of the uh, project requirements, and I want, as I said, I want you to uh, be interactive with it. What do you know about the product of the senior project? The poster board. Display board, is that the product? That, that's, a, that's where definitely you will show what you have done through your product, but the product is what service community, what you're doing in the community to provide service to a group of people. It cannot benefit just one or two people. It has to benefit a group of people. And it's not difficult to do. When, you when the student has decided his interest in his topic, he will decide how he can benefit a group of people. And his mentor is a wonderful person to help him focus on that and to guide him in that process. We'll definitely look more about that in our portfolio. The research paper will be working with the English teachers in the research part of the senior project. In the portfolio, the perfected iSearch paper must be um, there. It must be a part of that portfolio. And the judges for the presentation will definitely look at that, and it will be perfected for their looking. The portfolio is the documentation, and you've seen some of those in the library, I think maybe at the beginning of the school year, they're, well, when they finished, they were on display in the gym, and many of you came by to see those, but the portfolio definitely documents the student's work from beginning to end. I grade the portfolio, but the judges at the presentations actually look at them, and they are very much impressed with everything within their portfolio. The mentor is very important. A mentor cannot be a relative. A mentor cannot be someone with whom the senior has worked before in a job position. It is definitely the mentor who will help the student to succeed. Um, how many hours do you remember the mentor has to uh, have? Ten. Ten mentor hours, that is true. Now, some students have already chosen two mentors, and that's perfectly fine. A mentor chose, if you have two mentors, you can divide the hours, five hours with one, five hours with the other. You don't double the hours if you double your mentor. If you do have two mentors, you'll need to double those handouts that relate to the mentor and the portfolio to get those back into May next Tuesday. The step-up connection. Step-up connection seems to be one of the senior's favorite parts of the senior project. The step-up connection takes the student out of the community and puts him into uh, a next level of learning. The step-up connection, if a student has an interest in um, psychology, some aspect working with psychology, he may just go to a college and sit in on a class for a day. And there are several examples in our notebook also concerning that. The step-up connection is really a great opportunity to go further in your actual learning and experience with the senior project. There is a step-up connection reflection that the student completes, and there's a handout about that also. The presentation. The seniors, after they finish their presentations, every one of them says it wasn't so hard. They really think it's going to be just really, really stressful, demanding, but it's not so hard. The judges want them to do well. They know more about their topic than anyone else in that room when they do make their presentations, and they do so well. We're always just so proud of them for that, and we'll look at some information in the notebook concerning that. Any question about what you see there? Again, all this will be covered in the, the notebook. We shall look at it. Certain assignments. 
the signs of commitment? Have you looked at those in the hallway? At, before you leave tonight, do. Stop by the bulletin board, just middle of the hallway, and look at those signs of commitment that the seniors created back when they began their senior projects. And in doing so, they made that typed, thought through commitment to doing their best work, to benefiting a group of people through the manner that they have chosen. So it's definitely a, a sign that just reminds them of what they have done. Let me go back. The iSearch paper, again, in connection with the English classes, and we'll work with that, whether it's Colin or here, on, or here in our English classes. The PowerPoint creation is a part of the presentation that will be presented in December. The PowerPoint is the evidence of what the student has learned. In his or her PowerPoint presentation, all five questions answered in the iSearch paper must be presented and answered, and that's the judge's knowledge, knowing that they have learned this, that it been, has benefited them so much. The trifold board, this is definitely the product documentation showing that these services were provided to the community. Information about the mentor, about the hours spent, about the step-up connection, and again, there are many on display in the library I would like for you to look at also. And the presentation, you can put this on your calendar, and it's in the, the notebook, December the 8th through the 12th, beginning about 1.15 in the afternoon, and we will rotate on 15-minute segments. Parents, mentors are definitely welcome at these presentations. We encourage you to come. Sometimes the seniors don't want you to come, but we encourage you to come. The presentation um, is before a panel of judges. There will be seven judges. One other will be a community judge, and the others will be um, administration here on campus, faculty. So it's, the students will, should feel very comfortable, and we practice so much, and they will practice so much for those presentations also. Any concern here, anything that you wish to, to ask? We'll look at it again in the notebook. Every year, the seniors in their portfolio write a final reflection. And in that, part of that reflection is having um, the judges hear that reflection. And these are some comments that seniors have made uh, just recently, and every senior has similar comments. After this process, they really do realize how, how well they have done. Seth Batten, <coughs> senior project helped me to mature in many ways. It allowed me to grow into an individual that has learned responsibility and self-discipline, and those, those are very important. Most importantly, I learned that hard work and determination will pay off in the end, and it certainly does. Jessica Brewer, Senior Project helped me grow as a person. It showed me that all of us should volunteer our time and effort into helping others. I learned that it is much more rewarding to give than to receive, all thanks to Senior Project. Kayla Scott, through Senior Project, I have learned to trust others and work with people in a new way. <coughs> I accomplish the goal that allows me to trust myself and my abilities in the future. Jonathan Pierce. In 10 years, when someone asks me what made me decide to be a physical therapist, I will be able to tell them all about my senior project and how it opened my eyes to a whole new world. Madeline Clyburn. Specific things I will value for my senior project are the <coughs> friendships I have made along the way from Tennessee, Alabama, and northern Mississippi. Senior Project opened many doors for me. And that's the great thing about the Senior Project and the mentors. Contacts are made that benefit the student for life. Madison Jones, Senior Project has been a great learning stretch for me. I learned I can do anything I set my mind to. It has taught me a great amount of responsibility. Now I know that work and commitment are two major factors in every aspect of life. I am thankful for the great opportunities Senior Project has given me. And let me assure you that every student has several <coughs> comments in the reflection that he reads to the judges. Any questions about anything that you've seen? All right, let's look at your notebook. And let, please, I do want you to ask any questions that you have about <coughs> anything that you see in the notebook. And I trust at this point you've had time to, to look at them. <laughs> And maybe not, it's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, of course, we have the title page, and then we have this <laughs> statement about the senior project being a capstone of the experience for the student. That's it. 
uh, you have built an educational building, and that capstone is the last stone that's placed on top, and that's what the senior project is. The senior project uh, mission statement on the next page, uh, you've seen that twice because your students uh, were sent that. They took that home to you in January when we had our first meeting. <clears throat> so go to the page that says SCA Senior Project Specifics. A couple of pages over. You're reminded that the class is divided into two sections at the beginning of the year. We do not meet each day. One section meets on Monday, Tuesday. The next section meets on Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday I'm available for anyone who needs some individual help. You saw the computer lab. And you know that senior project is required. Your student will have to pass it. And I know we will have uh, wonderful grades and no concern with that at all. There is a $20 senior project fee. And some of your students have already paid that. And that's good. But uh, that enables the student to print every paper needed for his portfolio in the computer lab with no cost. Um, it takes care of the trifold board. It takes care of any presentation expense. So that, and no grade will be uh, put into the computer for senior project until that's paid. So the earlier the better. On the next page, considerations for your project and your product. There's information there about the learning stretch that your senior is definitely going to experience, and we're excited about that. There are several examples of the product and the project topic on that page. You certainly can look at that carefully. On the next page, in planning your product, again, the product must be community-based, must be a community service project, a group must benefit. Step-up connection is five hours, and that step-up connection may be completed in the summer or the fall. The school, though, does not <coughs> give the student a day to take that step-up connection. If the student does not take it in the summer and complete that requirement in the summer, he will have to go on his own uh, on the weekend or holiday during the fall to complete his step-up connection. You're reminded that the product itself, and how many hours must the product be? Thing. must be 40 hours. All 40 of those hours may be accomplished during the summer. 20 hours may be accomplished in the summer. 20 hours may be accomplished in the fall. But 20 hours must be accomplished in the summer. You cannot go into the fall with all 40 due. So um, <laughs> just keep that in mind. That would not be fun, would it? Keep in mind that your, your student must complete 20 of his, his or her product hours during the summer and may take 20 into the fall if that's a wish, but all 40 can be completed during the summer. And let me tell you, uh, they could, as soon as they signed up for their topic, he, the student could start then accumulating these hours, and some of the juniors have. They've already begun accumulating these 40 hours, and that's perfectly fine. You don't have to wait until the summer. So 20 hours in the summer, 20 hours in the fall, or all 40 in the summer, and this is the product, this is the service that the student is doing for his community. The product should not require a large expenditure of money. If your student uh, chooses something that is, chooses a product that's going to um, take into account lots of money, then we, we should reconsider because that is not a requirement for doing really well with your product. Raising funds, you were told, should even be a cautious consideration if you are raising funds. An adult still has to um, take control of the money and do the records for the money if your student is raising funds for a benefit, and that's perfectly fine, but that's not necessary. The student may do that. It is not necessary the student raise funds. Some will and some won't, and it's definitely okay um, with the um, receiving an A-plus to do it or not. Do you have a question about that or anything on this page? All right. On the next page, choosing a mentor. As we said, the mentor is very much um, a success factor. A good mentor will guide your student really well through his senior project or hers. A mentor cannot be a relative, we've said, not, cannot be someone with whom the student has worked before. You may have two, and some students have already signed up for two. That's, that's perfect. Mentors must be contacted. Those forms must be filled out by a week from tomorrow. So I trust that your student has done that. Assemblies, the school really would not like for many assemblies to be um, chosen for the senior project to be presented in the gym. It takes away from class time. What we really aim toward is students 
working with teachers and making presentations to classes. And the teachers are really <coughs> eager to do that. Encourage your student, if he wishes to do that, not to wait until later in the semester because um, all the students needing to contact teachers and getting some assemblies, not assemblies, but classwork um, time, it, it takes a toll on the teachers and that's not really the best thing. So encourage your student, if he's going to work with a teacher, to do that early in the fall. Funds cannot be raised on the SCA campus unless approved by Coach Hankins. So you just need, need to remember that. Your child must have a jump drive for all of his work. That's important. Papers can be lost, but we want to keep up with that work. Now, the next page does give you those forms due by April the 15th, and we'll look at those. I really want to encourage you to <coughs> remind your student that his senior project grade is holistic, which means it takes into account meeting those deadlines. The grade takes into account working in class as needed. The grade takes into account, of course, everything related to his portfolio, his PowerPoint, his presentation. So it's a holistic grade. You cannot simply say, I give so many points to this or that. But records are kept. Certainly records are kept throughout the entire time. An important thing is your student works on his product. Pictures must be taken. Um, if, if he's renovating a certain area, he or she, then pictures need to be taken before that. Any kind of work done on the product must be documented with pictures. Those pictures will be needed for the trifold board as well as the portfolio. And it is important to remember that the student needs to be active in the picture. I've gotten some pictures um, and seen them on trifold boards where the student is standing to the side watching the work being done, so that's not good. We don't want that. So the student should be active in the picture. The student should be doing something. We'll look at these log sheets that will document all of that product work. The next page is student information form for the senior project. That simply gives me the information needed, as you will see, and that's one of the seven G. The next one is the topic and product approval form, and that's what will be approved or the suggestion <coughs> to re reconsider. And the next is parent consent form. <coughs> now, if you have any questions, raise your hand and we'll certainly answer. <coughs> And the next is the senior project letter of intent. Now this is typed just as it's seen, except the relevant information is put into the parentheses. So much of that is just, just <coughs> as it is on this page. <coughs> Mentor request and consent form. Mm -hmm. the, the letter of intent, uh -huh. do, they per, do they copy this? They copy it just as it is, just inserting their own information. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that, that should, would not take any time. Mentor request and consent form. Now, if you have two mentors, you'll need to get two of these pages. The mentor fills this out, attaches a business card if there is one at the, to be attached to the bottom. And then you should have two copies of the student information for the mentor. One page is left with the mentor, so he will have contact information, and one page is turned in with those seven forms. And then the liability release form. And those are the seven. Any question about those? These are the ones that are due next Tuesday. And they may be turned in early. If your student has, has it ready, it can come in tomorrow. It can be turned in early. The next page reminds us of the Step Up Connection. As I said, the students just seem to enjoy this really well because they get out of their community and they're allowed to go do something that's totally different. I don't, Allie Wallace, you familiar with Allie? Graduated last year. She was able to go to, I do not remember if it was a Baptist or St. Dominic's, with her, a surgeon for that day, she was <coughs> a medical choice. And he had heart surgery that day. And she, of course, was all suited up and all. She got to hold the patient's heart in her hand. And that was part of her step up protection. Of course, that was, you know, it was all approved. So something she will never forget. And many of our step up connections give us that experience. So this is five of your hours. And of step up connection documentation, please encourage your student when he goes to do his product work. And I'm saying his, but I mean his or her product work, step up connection, take the notebook. Because if you take the form out and the student carries it, it's going to get bent and maybe not even get there. So tell the student to take the notebook and then to be certain that we have that filled out and always take a pen. That's important too. Now how many hours of the step up? Five, yes. Step up connection reflection. 
This is just simply getting home, sitting down at the computer, and typing about the day's event. The easiest one of all. I had one step up connection that was four type pages. So it's, it's easy to get involved with that experience. The next page is the product documentation form. And how many product hours? 40. How many during the summer? It must be 20. But then all 40 can be in the summer. That's wonderful. And you can begin now. Your student can begin now on those. As long as he's taught with me about exactly what he or she is doing and has get, been given really an oral approval, the student can go ahead and start. The activity column sometimes is a concern because you cannot simply say, helped in the clinic. You have to be specific with whatever activity you have done as part of your product. So be very cautious with your student with that. You can't say work with children. You have to be specific about exactly what, the, what you did to work with children. The parent or the mentor may sign the product documentation. Parent or mentor may sign the product documentation form. And the next one is just a sample from Kayla Scott. You'll notice she was very specific. She worked with renovating the library, and she stated exactly what she did. And her mother signed that. A mentor or parent may sign that. Now, the next is the mentor student contact hours log, and this is documenting the time spent with the mentor. And how many hours must that be? Um, ten. Ten. Must be ten. If you have two mentors, it can be five each. That's perfectly fine. If you want to do 20, that's okay too. But your mentor must sign this. Your parent cannot sign the mentor form. And that, that should make sense. <coughs> the next is a sample. Madeline Clyburn. She worked with Bethany Barr. Um, on many week, I'm sure you're familiar with Bethany. And she worked with her many, many weekends of, in her ministry, her music ministry. On the next page, fundraising record, will everyone have this? No. If your student raises funds, this is what you'll need to turn in. And notice, verifying initials would be apparent. So um, be sure of that. But if you do not raise, if your child does not raise funds, this does not go in the portfolio. This is omitted from the, even the table of contents. You do not have to include that. Now, if you look on the portfolio requirement page, which is a couple of pages over. If you'll count down by next Tuesday, you, your student will have turned in or will have information about nine of these forms that are listed. Nine entries into his portfolio by next Tuesday. So that's a wonderful start. And you'll see uh, what's coming up with the portfolio. And we do this step by step by step. So it's, it's really not difficult for your child to, to achieve an excellent score in his senior project. Senior project presentations. Do you know up until about four years ago, the presentation was the complete grade? Before we had the senior project class, the presentation was the complete score for senior projects. Whatever the judges gave you with your presentation, that was the score you received. So, but now we have put 50 points to that and then 50 points that um, are covered by the um, status speech, other aspects of the product set aside from the presentation. So this is um, important for you to see. Senior project presentation, of course, takes into account the speech, the product, the PowerPoint, the portfolio, the trifold board, and appropriate attire. And I've talked with, with the juniors about this already. But a business suit or dress or business pants for ladies. And ladies, we don't want short skirts. If you think that your skirt may be short, just have to keep 